If you haven't used ProScore previously, this is the most important video you have to watch before you use ProScore for the first time. It tells you the most important keystrokes in order to make ProScore work for you. So I'm going to show you how this is done. So on your Windows desktop, you double click ProScore and enter the scoreboard. Now you press enter to enter snooker scoreboard. And here I'm not going into details, so we just press enter. And here we just press enter without going into details. So I'm going to tell you what we should do to start a frame and to add points as well as ending a frame. So here we go. Now we are at the scoreboard. So what we are going to do is to start the frame clock. So to do that, you press the C button. So that C button will start and stop the frame clock. So remember, C is the clock. So right now the game is started and we have players playing on the table. So the current player on the table will have a white bounding box surrounding his area. Now, when he finishes break or he didn't put the ball, so it will be the next player's turn. So to do that, to change the turn or to switch the player, you press enter or P. So either button would work. So P would be the player. And it's the same as enter key. So now let's say a ball is ported and of course the first ball would be a red ball. So we just add pawns by Pressing the numbers. So if you put a red ball, of course you will push one. And say now he put a color ball, which is a blue ball, we'll press five Six. to add five points. You see how it works? It's very simple. And so on. Now when he finishes break, we will press enter or the P key to switch to the next player on the table. So remember, digits number one to 7 would be those pawns here that you are going to add to the player scoreboard. Now, what happened if a player made a foul shot? Of course he's going to lose pawns, right? So, um, so we are going to award his opponent like 4, 5, 6, 7 pawns, depends on what kind of foul he made. So to do that, we have to press the F key for the foul shot. And say this person here on the left, he made a foul shot and he's giving away like 6 pawns to his opponent. So what we do is to press the F key. So F for the foul. And now we press 6. And 6 pawn has been added to his opponent's scoreboard. So very important that you know how to add the foul pawns. And the F key has another function, which is free ball. So to trigger a free ball, you press F twice. And you see how this display changes here. So now it's free ball, okay? So what it means is that this player, he got the pawns from a foul shot and he decided to take a free ball. Okay, now, he's going to take a free ball so he would put any, say, probably any other color ball on the table and he, still, and he would get one pawn. So, um, on this free ball mode, if he succeeded in potting a ball, he will get one pawn in this case. So, on this screen here, 
if he does succeed in porting a ball, you press one. Because whatever ball he ported, it will be one punch to him. So we press one to enter. That's that's the free ball point here. So the next ball he's going to port would have to be a color ball. So here, let's say the next ball he port is a uh, green ball. So we press three. To, so he continue the break like that. So that's it. Um, so remember F for the foul or free ball. So you just keep pressing the F key and it will toggle the state. So just keep watching this space here and you know whether you are on the foul shot or you are on the free ball mode. Okay. Um, the next button you need to know is to access the menu. Um, if you need to perform other functions and uh, you will need to go to a menu. So you press M to get to the menu. So remember, M is the menu. And of course you scroll up and down. Enter and to confirm a choice, like that. And it's not just the up and down arrow that will perform those functions. Within the menu, the digits here, the numbers, you see the color balls here, they actually perform another functions. It's the same navigation functions as your up and down button. So um, within the menu, the yellow ball, which is two, that would perform the up arrow function and the black which is the seven key it performs the down arrow function and the green ball here which is the three key it will perform the enter function so to show you what I mean I would this time I will use just the digits to scroll up and down and to make a choice on the menu you see here I'm pressing two because two is going up as you see here so 7 is going down and say if I decided to re-rack the frame so I go to re-rack and press 3 which is enter so 3 is to enter this choice and then I can go up and down to make a confirmation so 3 which is enter the reasons that I'm telling you about this color this two, seven, and three here is that on some other devices that in cases you are not using a keyboard, you may be using a remote control and and there is no arrow keys on the remote control and this is how you do the up and down and enter. Hope that doesn't confuse you too much. Now, one thing that's very, very important is that when a frame is ended, there are certain procedures you have to do to end the frame properly. So let's say right here we have a frame that uh, that is that is going to end. So we are going to end the frame in this state. So what do we do is um, to press the win frame key, which is W, and then we will confirm to end the frame. So let me do it. W. You see here the screen is slightly different, and now we are going to confirm that this frame is ended and what happens is that once I confirm the winner the one with the highest points will have one frame added to his scoreboard so to do that I will press the green button which is a 3 so I press the 3 key and one frame has been added to this person and the scoreboard has been reset to 0 and now we are on the second frame and we are about to start. So again, when you start the second frame, when it breaks off, um, you will press the C key to start the frame clock again. So I press C. Now the second frame is started. And you just go on and press P, P or enter to switch player. And until like a first ball is ported, you press the digits. One, six, seven. And when this frame is finished at some point, 
you press the W key again and to confirm you press 3. If you made a mistake um, having pressing the W key and you don't want to end the frame, you press the same key again. It will take you back to the scoreboard and the game continues just in case you made a mistake and you didn't really mean to end the frame. So the game will carry on. So to end this frame here, I will press the W and 3 to end the frame. So now the second frame has finished and we are about to start the third frame. So remember W is win frame. So this is how you end the frame properly. Okay, there is one more thing I want to tell you is about the way you add the pawns. In competitions or tournaments, you see people add pawns uh, after every pot. So you pot a ball, you add the pawns, you pot another ball, you add another pawn. So this is the way they do it like on competitions or tournaments. But what happens if you uh, play with your friend like in a casual games or you know or something very relaxing and you don't want to add pawns after every pot and and there is a way to do it and um, we call that the uh, direct brick pawn entry so in this way um, you add the pawns after a break is finished so you wait until all all, all the balls are ported or, or the, all the balls in that brick is ported and, and, and it's finished. Then you add the total pawns onto the scoreboard. So I'm going to show you, show you how to do that. Um, to enter the brick directly, so you press the B button. Now we have a, a, like a small keypad here. So we just enter the total pawns in that brick. So let's say that um, break we had like 23 pawns. So we press two, three, and enter. And that will enter 23 pawns into his scoreboard directly without having to pot or without having to add like one ball at a time. So this is very convenient if you want to add pawns um, after a break is finished. Or of course you can mix it up with the normal way you score by pressing one button at a time. It's up to you. Or you can just enter the break after the, the, the all the break pawns are finished. Something like that. Okay. So remember, if you want to do a direct break entry, so you press the B key, which is break. Okay, that's all I can tell you at the, uh, for the moment. Um, there are a lot more I can tell you about this scoreboard, and um, but in this video, I'm just going to sh I'll just show you how you operate ProScore with your PC keyboard, and hopefully that would help you to start off with a good game. And thank you for watching.